Hey guys, welcome to another Grumpy Guy review. If you're looking for a balanced, even-handed review, you've come to the wrong place because I am grumpy. So Nathan, what do you get when you take a Subaru Solterra and then you turn that into a Toyota BZ4X and then you turn that into a Lexus? Well, you get this, the Lexus RZ450E. So Nathan, out of those three names, I gotta say the Subaru name is the best. Uh, yeah, I mean, a BZ4X, nobody likes, and, and Toyota, I think, knows this by now. And RZ, you know that reminds me of? Like a razor, something that you would buy for a kid or something like that. It doesn't quite work for this. So, so we're looking at a warmed-over Toyota, which is a warmed-over Subaru. Right, Okay. Right. So let's start with styling, as we always do. What do you think of the look? Actually, I don't think it's a bad-looking vehicle. Now, it does have the bigger wheels. You can actually get smaller wheels for this, and it gets better range. We'll cover that in a little bit. But with this styling package, the color, actually, I think it's kind of pretty. All right, I agree. It's not ugly. Yeah. Um, it's not handsome. But come over here. Check this out. What's up with these, like, little devil horns back here? Look at this. They're like little, you know, why? Yeah. You know what that reminds me of is a brassiere from the 1950s. <laughs> or you know what it reminds me of? Remember when Mitsubishi did those little like sharks? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, that's for stability, for high-speed stability. I'm sure there's an aerodynamic... Oh, whoa. It moved when I... <laughs> don't, don't touch it. But it, it, it did. It really did move but, when but, I... But I bring you to the back of the car first for a very simple reason, Nathan. Oh, What uh, if it rains? Yeah. Dude, so many people are doing this now. With electric cars, it doesn't make any sense to me. So there's no wiper. The same thing was on the Ionic 5, which is one of my favorite cars in the class. It doesn't have a wiper either. Yeah, supposedly what the manufacturer will often tell you is that the airflow coming over the car will wipe away the rain. But, you know, that's like you can't get pregnant standing up, right? <laughs> when you're, you really? Because I, I, okay, I read differently. So no, in my book, when I am in the snow, which is this is snow country, and this thing has all-wheel drive, I want something that can actually push some of the light snow and ice off there after I've heated the car up from the inside so I can drive and actually look out of the rear glass. Now, let me show you another thing that makes me grumpy. As you know, Lexus is a premium brand, right? Yeah, so yeah, you yeah. expect a little bit higher level of attention to build quality. So uh, they've decided to put the charging port right here. Okay, Please that's a... open it. Just open it. Whoa, whoa, Roman, I broke it. <laughs> no, you didn't. No, I broke it, dude, because the whole the whole thing moved. Look at this. This whole thing is moving. I swear to God I didn't hit it. But open it. <laughs> there you go. But look, if, if it were me, I'd be like... So it's not broken? This is how it is? No, it's just... It looks dude. like... Dude. I mean, come on. Really? I'm, it, but it's... So there's three different things they have here. This is like a cutout where they have the plastic, right? Yeah. And so this is sort of hollow... Oh, that and, is and, not... And, and, and you know, it's a good thing that, that you won't be using this much. <laughs> you mean like every day? Yeah. So uh, another thing that, of course, is making me grumpy about this car uh, is both the range and the charging. At the end of this video, we're actually going to go charge this and show you what I mean. Okay. But why don't you tell them about the range? Well, okay. As it sits with the big wheels... Um, and they are good looking wheels. They're 20-inch wheels, yeah. Yeah, okay. Uh, it's just under 200 miles. <laughs> 196 to be exact, okay. according to the EPA. But if you get the smaller <laughs> wheels on the lower end model, you get almost an additional 20 miles or so. So get the smaller wheels. It won't look as good, but you'll get better mileage. You get 220. Yeah. Now the Subaru and the Toyota version of it get 226. But, but they don't have as much cool stuff on the inside and all the, the opaque roof thing. And, and, and let's be real. real. Here in Colorado, that uh, 196 miles of range in the winter is going to be more like 150 if you're lucky. Yeah, it, yeah, that could be an issue. Um, okay, so the range, yes. Uh, charging, the battery. Charging, we'll get to at the end. Yeah, battery is about 70 kilowatts. It's like 71 kilowatt hour yeah. battery and, or so. And, and show you, um, look and behold at the beauty and size of the frunk. Come look at the frunk. So I know that the BZ4X doesn't really have a frunk. And uh, neither uh, does... This is Solterra and neither does this. Neither does this. No, no frunk. Unless, of course, you wanted Tommy to look, put his tush right look, here. Look, the, the, no the argument is most people don't use the frunk. I find it useful if you have, like, dirty gym equipment or maybe some Indian takeout that you don't want sinking up the car. But, you know, the argument is... But it, it's, it's a matter of engineering, Nathan, right? It's like, yeah. why can't you engineer it in such a way that you would put a small cubby in here? 
because then suddenly you that would intrude into passenger space and passenger space in this is really good is it yeah it's pretty good all right well let's uh jump on the inside and i'll show you the coolest thing about this car and there is one cool thing okay oh oh roman it has the pressure pads um yes. so this which looks like a regular door handle actually isn't. There's a pad that's in here, right where my finger is, and you trigger that in order to open the door, and it's not, it's not brilliant. Okay, right, let me show you the most annoying thing. Hop in and start her up. Uh, you know, what is the biggest sin that a car can do? Uh, there's the, well, there's a lot of sins, but one would be too much tech. I think you and I agree. A, a nanny, basically, right? Too many nannies, yeah. Too many nannies. So let me go. Oh, I need the key. Let, let me go stand behind the car. You put it in reverse and just see what a caca dare I say, an opera of beeps this thing does. Okay. Well, it's already oh, doing a beep. <laughs> see if the doors don't always close because of the latch. Okay. There you All go. All right, down with the window. Now, now, uh, before you even get that far, put it in drive. Okay. Oh, you have to push this down? Yeah. Okay. Why do you have to push it down? <laughs> it's like a, one of those safety caps for like a you know, pill yeah, bottle for yeah, children. Yeah. And now put it in reverse. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. There's that's, a lot of that, beeps. That, that, that's, the, this? that's the opening of the opera. Now let me show you the rest of the opera. Put it in drive. Okay, it's in drive. <laughs> It's all these red marks in there. There's so many different beeps going on. There's three different beeps happening. Exactly. I don't get it. Oh, I know. It's so freaking wow. Annoying. Yeah. Yeah, that's... Uh, I, now, I know that when you get out of this, it'll beep to remind you that I think there's someone in the back seat or there may be somebody oh, here, in the here, back here, seat. Here, here. Let's do this. You uh -huh. have the key? Leave it, yeah, leave it in, in here. the car. Yeah, come on okay. out. Come all on right. out. You want me to shut it off or leave it on? Leave, well, yeah, leave it on first. Okay. Leave it on. You stay in there, Cole. Okay, watch what happens. Wow, that's inconsistent because normally it would make a noise. When, when, do, when do I sound beeping? Oh, I know. Give me the key. That's you got to take the key with you. Uh, All right, let's, okay. let's, do, let's do another take of that. Okay, another take. Yeah, let's do another take. Okay, let's do another take. Okay, one oh, more okay. time. Okay. Okay. Are we, okay, is it on? Mm hmm. All right. All right, uh, Nathan, uh, let me show you something else. Uh, why don't you come out of the car, leave it turned on, and see what happens. Okay. Take the key with you. Yeah, got it. All right, here we go. <laughs> There's two different beeps on that one, too. <laughs> yeah. Not just one, but two. <laughs> There's a lot of different beeps with this car. Oh, it's just, it's just incredible how much beep. <laughs> Even the back door. <laughs> All right. Here, hold on. Are you doing yours? <laughs> I now know a way that my son can annoy me all day long if I bring this home. All right. Uh, let me get let me get in the driver's seat, and I'll show you the one cool thing about this car. Okay. All right, Nathan. Let me show you something else. Now, let's say you're my mom. Yeah. And you decide you want to get out the back seat, which is where you're at. Uh huh. You might want to pull that little lever. Uh, not push it. Pull it. See what happens. Nothing. Yeah, that's because <laughs> you have to push it. And if you want to do the emergency, you got to do it twice. <laughs> okay, so wait, wait. So you got in an accident, boom, and power's off. Pull, oh no, I can't get out. Pull, pull, oh no. Okay, so it takes a little while. That's no good. So normally what you would do is this little part here, you'd just push your thumb on it and open it. Okay. Do you remember once upon a time when there was this little grab handle? A little door handle that actually had a mechanical yeah. mechanism. They've only been around for over 100 years. Yeah. All right, yeah. I think I've been grumpy long enough. Let me show you something really cool. Okay. Okay. Uh, look up. Yeah. Check, check this out. Boom. Goes about, from opaque to clear instantly. Yeah. How about that, huh? That's really cool. Yeah. And uh, I actually know a little tiny bit about this tech because my brother's company uh, they were doing some of this years and years ago. In fact, if you go to Star Tours at Disneyland, they actually have this tech there too. And it's basically charged little particles that when the electricity goes through there, it makes it opaque. And then when you take... Like, like, like yep. a, a kid could play for hours with that. Yeah, yeah, you could play for all day long. These huh. things must be remarkably expensive.
Yeah, I that's see, cool. I see them on like airplanes have them like sometimes. A Boeing has them, right? You can just push the buttons and and boom, lower the amount of light coming through. Well, that means there's no need for a shade. All right, well, let's go take it for a ride. All okay. right, come on back, back up here. By the way, look at the legroom. When you put the seat all the way up, yeah, that's first class, baby. Of yeah, course. But, but the person in front of you would have to be legless. That happens. <laughs> or Jill Cimillo. Sorry, very Jill. Small, yeah, the little, very small person. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> of course, you'd be so close to the... Uh, uh, it's, I still fit even if the seat's airbag. not all the way up there. Hey, Nathan, at this point, uh, our viewers might be wondering how much does this car cost? Yeah. So, so I would suggest you get the Benroni, the sticker, out of the glove box and show them. Is there no glove box? There's no glove box, dude. <laughs> <laughs> there's no front and there's no glove box. The ultimate minimalist approach to storage. <laughs> it's in here. Okay. Yeah, the, the, the Monroni's in here. Uh, and the as-tested price, Nathan, is $67,000 and $95, or $67,95. $67,095. Yeah, exactly. Um, that's a lot of money. This is a Lexus, though, so, um, yeah. So man. how much do you think the sunroof costs? Uh, 2500 bucks. Uh, 550 That's very little. Yeah. I thought it'd be a lot more expensive. And how much do you think the paint cost? Uh, well, you just, I saw your thumb, so $500. 500 yeah, 500 But it's a really good looking paint job. Yeah, yeah. Really pretty color. Yeah, yeah. All right, so let's go, let's go take it for a drive. I like the interior design, by the way. Yeah. For the most part, this is a really classy looking interior, very Lexus-like. Has its new very large screen and infotainment system that you're seeing in all their Toyota products now, or many of the Toyota products. I like that. Actually, we're not just taking it for a ride, we're taking it to charge to find out just how quickly this charges. Ah. Because if you only have 160, I don't know, 196 miles of range. Yeah, 196. Um, you need to be um, charging more often than not. Okay, now, Full disclosure, this is an all-wheel drive car, so this has the all-wheel drive motors, and it's uh, just a hair over 300 horsepower. So it, it, it has some really good get-up and go. Uh, well, we're going to find out. So um, there's different drive modes, uh, and the way that you uh, get to those drive modes is you hit, I think, the car right there, if I remember right. I was doing this yesterday. And then there are your drive modes. So you've got normal, sport, eco, range, and custom. So when you put range, so what's the difference between range and eco? Of course it beeps at you. <laughs> of course it does. Let's try that. No, it didn't beep at you. No, but range does something. I don't know why it beeped at you. Oh, I know why. Uh, it's got this thing where it looks at your eyes. Oh. oh. And if you're not paying attention. So that's why it beeped because you turned away. Because, and I, was, because I was looking away. It does that. Oh, oh so it, it went into range and it completely cut the AC. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, no, 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 bueno. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, no, not today. I don't like all these modes because I don't think that well, they're Well, I don't want to go on the screen when I'm driving. Well, I just I, don't. I just. Give me a button. So here's my question. Okay. Does it accelerate quicker in uh, sport mode or in normal mode. Oh, come on, it's gotta be sport. All right, well, I, 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 we don't have the solo DL. No, but I'll count out loud. All right, so here, <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll just go to 60 really quickly here. Okay. Or let's just, let's just use our butt and see, okay? Okay. So I'm, I'm gonna accelerate full. So that's good. Kind of dies there, drops off. And that's 60. I would say that's probably in the six second range. All like right. Six, six and a half seconds. So let's put it in range mode and see if that changes. You ready? Yeah, you're killing oh, 112 me. 112 miles. Look at that versus sport mode. It doesn't tell you. It's because it just kills everything. Oh, 87 we, miles. Okay. Okay, there it goes. Nope, that's just as fast. <laughs> that doesn't do anything. Yeah, I don't know if there's that much of a difference. I certainly didn't feel it. It, it may be a suspension setting that it... Well, it doesn't... You know, I, I always to me like the biggest difference is how quick a car accelerates, right? Yeah. Uh, and I don't think it does anything. I think when you floor it... When we do these like drags, uh, drag strip reviews, right? People are always like, uh, hey, you should have put it in sport mode. But we have found out over the last, what, 12 years that we've been doing this, when you floor a car, the engineers have constructed in such a way or designed in such a way that it just gives you all the beans. Yeah, although there are exceptions. And we we experiment with And that's, that's how we usually know that, you know, A mode works the same as B mode type thing. But... Um, it probably out accelerates that though. The G wagon. Yeah. It depends which one. No, that's an old one. Maybe. Yeah, not. it'll it'll take on but the old. But it won't one. take on a G63. No, and you know what? That's one thing I was I was curious about. 
what does this compete with? And with that price, whew, not a G sixty three. No, but but it would probably compete against the EQE, which that's something I recently had experience with from Mercedes Benz. Yeah, mid size premium crossover. So I would say, like you said, e tron from Audi, uh, EQE. Oh, the, the Y, the Model Y. The Model Y. To me, the one that this competes with the most closely is the Lyric. I, I don't know what what's it saying there. Caution. Oh, it's oh, cross me. traffic. Cross traffic alert. It's beeping at me. But it, it gives kind of yeah. So so the Cadillac Lyric because it's also got kind of the same. Uh, vibe is this one. I would say that's the closest competitor. Now, in terms of its driving dynamics, it's fine, you know. I mean, it's got heavy steering. Yeah, you, well, you say heavy, I say numb, it right? It, it doesn't exactly communicate, uh, but it's an electric car, so you know, no regen. I'm sure you can add that, but I've got no regen right now. Just I'm kind of, a little surprised about the road noise. It's actually wind noise I'm hearing, I think, too. Do you hear that? Yeah, we hear a lot of tire noise. It is surprising. Yeah. I think both you and I are, I mean, I, I'm definitely taking a more mellow approach because, look, I, I fully admit it. I love a majority of the Lexus products I've tested. Yeah. Um, they tend to, to really surprise me. But this one really does feel like it's only a small step above the Toyota platform it's based on, the BZ4X. I, I, you know, I'm guessing at this, but there is a little bit of a sense that uh, Lexus needed an electric car, and so the most, um, let's say quickest way to get one is to take the collaboration that uh, Subaru and Toyota did with the BZ4X and turn it into a Lexus. But, I'm not going to argue with you on but, that but, one. But, you know, you would think that the first Lexus EV would be more than a rebadged Subaru. I guess that's maybe my my point of contention in this entire review, right? Yeah, I I don't feel like, and I've been in the Solterra before, I've been in the BZ4X before, and there's another problem with this vehicle, and that is where it's built and what it means. Well, so yeah, so it's built in Japan, which is, you know, for quality... Great, normally. Yeah, except it doesn't qualify unless you lease it for the $7,500 federal... The, the potential one, and yeah, yeah and uh, that, that that's a real issue with me. Um, I, I, I don't even know where to go with this because you, you no longer are in a financial place where it makes sense compared to some of the other vehicles you're competing against that are built here. Like a Model Y. Right. Uh, its performance is decent, but it's not at the top of the pack with any of that. Its comfort is okay, although the road noise is noticeable. You know what I mean? Like there's always a, there's a counterpoint. There's nothing that it does that's extraordinary outstanding, well, and well, I'm a little well, concerned. Well, well, maybe, you know, what what is the killer app in this is it's charging let's go find out maybe that's what stands apart from all the rest so all right let's go plug it into an ea and see how many kilowatts uh, of uh, power we get we're at uh, just below half uh, so you know we've driven the battery should be relatively ready to accept more energy we're not exactly you know full so it's not like we're you know above 80 percent right it's not a hot day either it's uh what's what the temperature out there i don't know where the uh, 80 <laughs> It's not 85. That's the range. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm going to say it's probably about... 64. Six, oh, wow. I, I found gonna, it. Right. There's three numbers here. <laughs> 281, 85, and 64, and 11, 18. Okay. So... <laughs> one is the time, one is the temperature, one is the range, uh, okay. and uh, one is uh, number of miles. So this car is brand new. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> why, why is it doing that? It's like a caterpillar tractor. Yeah, but it's doing it only on the inside. Is that just so because you didn't know you wanted to reverse? I'm going to tell you you're in reverse. And now it's saying, oh, you went too far. I'm in death count too. Going to get you. Oh, All right. man. All right. So I, I, I know I'm grumpy, so I don't want to be unfair. So maybe saying it's a rebad Subaru is not quite right because I think Subaru and Toyota developed... Well, they jointly developed the BZ4X and the Solterra. Right. I don't think this is ugly. I think it rides actually quite nice, and it's got good power. Okay. Hey, by the way, I'm glad the world's going to Tesla. I know. Because <laughs> this is a monster. It's I'm like... sure Electrify America's thrilled it to hear you say that, too. No, the standard. I, I know, I know, I know. It's just because these things are ungainly. <laughs> that one's broken, too. Uh, yeah, it's missing the little cover. All right. Unav <laughs> of course it's unavailable. <laughs> How about the other one? Is that one available? Let's have a look. Let's take a look. That's really funny. Is that have to back in? No, I could just go around. Is this one available? Let's look here. Oh, this is unavailable too. 
That's unavailable. To <laughs> yeah. Uh, and then these are being taken. Hmm. That's this, hysterical. This is an ID4. Or maybe that guy's waiting. That's why the guy in the That's BMW why he's waiting, thing. because these are broken. Well, ain't that a corker? There's a level two by our work. <laughs> It'll only take a day to charge it. Well, hold on. These guys get free charging? Yeah. I'm curious. You think he's charging, or you think he's just sitting here? Let's find out. Oh, he's charging. I guess we find another charger, or... We go have some lunch. <laughs> <laughs> they're both unavailable. I know. For I know. fudge's sake. See, I knew there's a reason to be grumpy. But that, that's not the car's fault. You can't blame the car no, for this. I'm not blaming the car for this. Well, tapping on it's not going to uh, help. No. They're both, they're both down. El Muerte. They're both down. What's that? They're both down. Both down? Yeah. yeah. They're both unavailable. OK. Roman and well close. Oh, it closed. Oh, oh God. All right, well, let's go to the other one. Yeah. On. Let's go drive a little bit farther. Now, if we had no power, look, Nathan, I just did a video, you know, where I drove from Florida to here. Yeah. And I had an epiphany. There is nowhere near enough chargers. In Florida? It, no, in the entire country. No, even Tesla chargers, just nowhere near enough of them. Uh, and this proves my point. Well, yeah, I mean, it, it truly does. And Here's the worst part. If the other two chargers that are around here that are fast chargers aren't available, we'd have to go to level two. Yeah, or you're not going to road trip on that. Does that work? No, don't, 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 don't hit it. <laughs> it's not a vending machine from the 1950s. You're not reliving your youth. Don't hit it. Just leave it. That let's won't go. reset it? No, it, it really won't. Oh, that doesn't punch. work on VCRs either. All right, let's go. Hey, Nathan, the journalist in me just can't be all one-sided. As much as I want to be all grumpy, there are some things I do like about this car. Mm -hmm. uh, let me kind of list them. I'll, I'll give you the top five. All right. Uh, number five, this steering wheel is really nice. Spongy. Uh, keep in mind, we don't have the optional yoke. <laughs> no yokes for me, man. <laughs> but there is a yoke that's coming uh, for the RZ. Yeah, it's no yoke. No yoke. I, I do like this kind of interior color combination. I do, too. The suede thing is yeah. nice. Yeah, the suede is nice, isn't it? Yeah. Um, I also like this wood, that's number three, and the fact that we got tons of charging right there. Um, and number two is a real volume knob. Go figure, huh? Well, they know that a lot of their buyers are going to be crotchety old men like you, and they want that volume <laughs> knob. Come on, so, I mean, you hate the little sliders as well. No, I agree, no, but I agree. But the point is, is that, I mean, we complain about this often if it's not in the car. And so if it is there, then we praise it. And thus we have praised. And then I do love these. These are very elegant. These are very cool. Yeah, so the way they work is a little numbers change in here. And so there's a screen technically. Yeah. It's, it's all part of the same component. Yeah. So, you know, real buttons, a good size screen. Uh, I would have loved to have real buttons for the HVAC, but I'll take the fact that they're not built into the screen. Really nice steering wheel, comfortable seats, interior's nice. Spongy materials even on the dash. Yeah, yeah. I like that. Yeah, there's a lot of good uh, use of expensive materials. Headroom's um, okay. It's headroom's okay. Um, but let's see how quick it charges. Okay. Oh, yeah, that is a big snake. Wait, wait, there's a snake in front of the charger, Nathan? <laughs> Hold on, let me see this. this oh, this is part of the, the, the is draw. Is it a live snake? Is it a live snake? I think it's a dead snake. Dude, that's a dead snake. You know what? That's probably warm right there, Roman. And it's probably warming well, I, itself. I don't know if it's alive or dead. Well, let's have a look-see. What do you think? Um, Here, I have an idea. You're not going to poke it with a stick, I'm are gonna you? I'm going to poke it with a stick, Nathan. That's what you do with a snake. You poke it with a stick. His face looks a little bloody. I think he's dead. Uh, I wouldn't. Well, there's some flies on him. That's right. I think he's dead. Where'd you get the shovel from? That's a dead snake, dude. OK. He, rigor mortis is set in. OK, well, let's just leave him right there. Oh, hey, he's how's dead. it going? I didn't know what was going on. I see it now. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we were about to pull in here, and uh, yeah, it scared us. <laughs> well, should we leave him there? Should... Hey, how about if I bury him in the hole? OK. I mean, he's, he's definitely this dead. This is all part of the job. At TFL, we bury animals. Or, whoa, he jumped. Oh, he's dead. Oh, so just put him in the probably hole. a coyote got him or something like yeah. that and then brought him halfway here. Well, why don't you come pull up? All right, I'll pull up. <laughs> <laughs> it's never a dull moment. 
Was, we were he's, going to make the camera dead. dude do it too, but he, yeah. he was just like turned half white. <laughs> Sorry, dude. I, you did. <laughs> you did. It works, yeah. <laughs> it was pretty funny. Oh, it's just beeping at me again. <laughs> is there a snake warning? <laughs> so remember that this side is the 50. You don't want that. So just pull in here. Hey, Nathan. Yeah. Uh, I think Lexus, Lexus has a cunning snake warning. I, like most man, it's new. I wouldn't be surprised. That's why it was beeping at me. All right. Now, how's it going? All right. All right, let's, let's plug it in. All right, I figured it out, first try. This seems to be a construction area here. All right. Well, yeah, that snake was probably on the job. All right, let's see what kind of speed we're getting. I'll just do it the old fashioned way because I have my app, but I'm just gonna go with the credit card. Which by the way, the Teslas don't have this. I like this. I do like the screen telling you what's going on. Yeah, processing payment. But that is one more thing that can go wrong. All right, so this is an ultra fast Nathan, which is 150 kilowatts. Okay. So it's not the 350. Sometimes they'll charge over a 150. Well, it's processing payment. Am I going to have to go to the app? There it goes. Processing error. <laughs> I've got the app. I'll use the app. Luckily, I've got the app. I'm not quite ready for prime time. Once again, not the car's fault. Okay. No, not the car's fault. Is uh, Toyota announced that they're going to switch to Tesla? I have a feeling that's coming sooner rather than later coming? with stuff like this. So it says, we're, please we're, unplug. Okay, unplug. We're at the target, unplug it, and plug it back in. Come on. Don't yeah, break it. Okay, now plug it back in. What number is this? Where's the number? Uh, one. Okay, charger number one. Okay, charger number one. Swipe to charge. Initiating charge. Now it's connecting the vehicle. Come on. Oh, I heard something. Usually when you hear the uh, fan going, there it goes, that's a good thing. Come on, you can do it. All right, here we go, continue. Why do you do that? I told me it's charging. Thank you for choosing Electrify America. Just give it a sec. There it goes. Oh, there it goes. It just took a while. All right. So here, here we go. Let's see how high we can get. Now, the Chevy Bolt does 50, so we've exceeded that. 75. Now, a Hyundai Ioniq 5 will do 250. Well, it has an 800 volt architecture. A Tesla will do 250 with 400 volt architecture. This thing is maxing out at 100. You know, which is okay. So according to Lexus, this has a maximum charge rate of 150 kilowatts. Okay. Uh, which is, it was, it's okay like two okay. years ago. Now it's on the slow side. Yeah, it is. Right? You can't, you can't be competing with cars that have an 800 volt architecture uh, and, you know, are charging at 250, right? And yeah. what that means is that you'll just spend more time sitting here because it's like the size of your uh, fuel inlet, right? Yeah. It's not small, but it's not huge. It's somewhere in the middle. No, you're, you're right about that. But hey, at least we got a working charger. Yeah. <laughs> That's yeah. great. Yeah. And let's see how long it maintains that. So it's holding 100. Well, it's on 99 now. So there's a thing called, as you know, a charging curve, right? Yeah. So how long can it maintain its peak charging rate? Uh, and the longer, the better. What the manufacturers like to do is they like to quote, you know, 10% to 80% number. Which is with an optimum everything. Right. The, the charger working the right way and the car exactly the right. And yeah. I think Lexus is like 30 minutes, but that's kind of like saying, if I go to the gas station, it'll take you two minutes to fill up, right? It doesn't mean anything. Yeah. This is what really means something. Yeah. All right, guys. Well, there you have it. Another grumpy guy review. Uh, let us know in the comments below if you like this style. Uh, and uh, yeah, Nathan, I did not kill that snake. <laughs> no, no, you did a proper burial. By the way, I don't hate this car either. I, I actually like a lot about it. I, I like just, the color. I really wish that they would update 
with the tech that's currently out there and be competitive. And that's where I have a bit of an issue. It's still holding 100. Yeah. So 50 below its maximum, but nevertheless, holding 100 is pretty good. Okay. Yeah, it says only 15 minutes left to 100%. Because yeah, the last 20% takes... So if we hang out here, we might encounter another snake. <laughs> yes. All right, see you guys next time. Ciao.